Voters are mad at both parties, but Democrats are in charge, so the vast majority of that anger is directed at them. Among American voters, the level of disdain toward Congress is now so high, many just want to throw the bums out. In fact, 59% of likely voters say they're even willing to vote for someone with little experience, according to the CBS News New York Times poll. It's the kind of anger that's ignited the Tea Party movement and has driven many independent voters who put President Obama over the top in 2008 to abandon the Democratic Party. But there's one group that still stands behind the president, the Democratic base. So his strategy in the final days is to plead with them to get to the polls, as he did last night on The Daily Show. But even with this supposedly friendly audience, when he invoked his old mantra, yes, we can, some rolled their eyes. I think what I would say is, yeah. yes, we can, but it <laughs> is not... But yeah. it is not gonna ha it's not going to happen overnight. It became awkward when the president tried to defend his former economic advisor and evoked memories of President George W. Bush. And in fairness, Larry Summers did a heck of a job trying to figure out how to... You don't want to use that phrase, um, dude. I saw. With his focus on young voters, the president has hit a string of college campuses. Tomorrow, the final three-day swing takes him from the University of Virginia to Temple University in Philadelphia, and after stops in Connecticut and Chicago, he'll finish up Sunday with a rally at Cleveland State University. With control of Congress at stake, Vice President Biden is campaigning nonstop, this weekend hitting Iowa, Massachusetts, and Ohio. The First Lady has also been hitting the trail with events Monday in Philadelphia and Las Vegas. And Bill Clinton has been campaigning continuously, even stopping in southern states where President Obama may not be welcome. Now, the White House says they still think Democrats can keep control of the House, but every objective political analyst I've talked to says it's a lost cause. Katie? Chip Reed reporting from the White House tonight.